Hello friends, welcome back. We've reached the halfway point of what is turning out to be another miserable season. We are continuing to drop in the rankings in Platinum 4, so hopefully we can at least stay in Platinum, that would be a shame. Taking on Outer today, uh, I think we fought this alliance last season, or the season before when I looked, uh, and I think we had beaten them last time. Uh, I don't have the spreadsheet open in front of me, but... All right, so uh, path eight was empty today, so give me a bit of a break. We have this hidden node first. I uh, used the scouter lens tool to find out that it was a thing. Uh, so we're going to go in with void. Uh, so one of the great things about using void on an Aegis heavy node, of course, is that void's heavy attack has three hit components. So, uh, you know, even in the expert tier when there are six of the... Um, the indestructible charges, it's just two heavies to remove all of them. Um, it's the same story here. You saw I needed two heavies to remove all four of the charges, so uh, it doesn't really throw off my my rhythm or my timing. Um, I've talked at length about how I like to keep um, I like to keep thing at about 13 stacks before I launch a special attack. So uh, the heavies at the beginning didn't really do much in terms of throwing me off. So. Uh, we've already worked ourselves back into a rhythm here, uh, just trying to put, hit him into his block there, bait out a special attack, and start the cycle over and over again. Um, this is the long distance relationship node also, so you can see I'm keeping myself nice and topped off health-wise with willpower, which is covering any of the uh, chip damage I'm getting from the parries. This thing is stunnable, which makes him you know, a lot easier to manage his stacks uh, when he is stunnable. Um, I've been doing some work trying to use less space when I dodge his SP2, trying to better learn the like the hit events in the animation. Um, I feel like I spend way too much space backing off, um, uh, but I'm still I'm still kind of iffy about it. You can see I'm 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 tentative um, about uh, staying too close and getting hit, especially when he's unblockable and there's no chance for me to mitigate that damage. So. So full AB, moving on to the first set of minis. This is a Doctor Doom on the right side mini. This is Aggression Armor and I think Optimist. Uh, this Doctor Doom is running Suicides, which is Void's Wet Dream. I think I dueled this person beforehand and was pretty excited when I found out that they were running Suicides. So um, our opponents are running Siphon, you see. So you'll, you'll see the block penetration passes that he gets whenever he hits into me or I parry. Um, misread the timing on that SP1 there, so that kind of sucked. It took a lot of damage, about 25% of my health from one special, uh, one hit of one special, so that, that's unfortunate. Uh, I also get some really bad luck with Petrify, so um, his aura is continuing to proc, and I have to be careful not to launch a special attack into him when he has that aura up. Now the Petrify is up, so his aura will not trigger again, but at this point it doesn't matter because... He is dead. So another full AB. Pretty happy about that fight other than getting hit. Uh, that timing is, is a little tricky, um, at least for me. All right, up on section two, we have a Mr. Sinister on masochism. Uh, I'm going to take in Warlock for this node here. Uh, we trigger masochism right away. Uh, and then we're trying to hit into his block just to raise up those infections. Mr. Sinister also tagged as a villain, um, so we kind of have to be mindful again of him hitting into our block when we parry. Uh, we have no way of regenerating with Warlock from willpower since he is a robot. Um, the other thing that makes this a little sketchy is that um, I can't really effectively cycle his special attacks with Warlock since Mr. Sinister is regenerating so frequently his power is also draining just as frequently. Um, so I have to take more block hits, more parries than I otherwise would have. Um, so you can see we took a, a nice chunk of our health just in chip damage. So, um, you know, again, that's a product of the tactic, and that's uh, that seems like the intended goal of these tactics. Tactics is just to to wear you down and make you use potions, even when you when you play perfectly and, and you know bring the right counter and and don't take a single hit. So. All right, we've got a Brie Larson on Buffet. Uh, this is five out of six wars now that we've had her on this node. This is actually an R2 six star. So you saw that I boosted up a little bit uh, just in case. Uh, this person is running suicides as well. So I wanted to get the infection up as quickly as possible to get that additional bleed damage 
um, since she won't be healing from the, the suicide bleed, uh, that would do probably about, I think it was maybe, what, 40% left when I got the infection up, so, you know, a nice chunk of her health gone. From there, it's the same fight as usual on this node with this champion, uh, just parry heavy, keep her below a bar of power thanks to all the willpower healing from the bleeds, from the armor breaks, from the occasional weakness debuffs uh, via the Resonate Mastery, and uh, she goes down shockingly easy <laughs> once again. So, All right, um, the uh, guy on path two was asleep because he's an old man. So I uh, decided to go ahead and take this Nightcrawler instead of leaving uh, him to be food for his ghost. Uh, so again, the this node has Buffet, uh, so we're really just going to parry heavy. Um, there's no reason not to. Uh, Nightcrawler is not bleed immune. Uh, I mistimed the distance on his heavy attack. That was a really dumb move on my part. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, that it's easy to get the uh, infection up here with just parries because it gives him four of the charges. Uh, and the bleeds are putting in some serious work, so yeah. Uh, killed him before <laughs> before the end of my first special two. So, I mean, it's only an R1 six star, so it's not, not that big of a problem. All right, we are up on Boss Island, and uh, after much deliberation, kind of assigning paths and whatnot... Um, it was decided that I take this Middle Doom on Plagued Mine and Kinetic Transference, Connect Reactor. I forget which is which. They're both very similar. Uh, we are going to do some um, heavier boosting than normal only because um, I requested first shot at the Man-Thing boss with my recently rank 5 Human Torch. Uh, so I wanted to get these boosts on and... Uh, into the boss before they wore off. So I am going to use an advanced power boost here, uh, just in case I need. I you know I can get a petrify up first, and then I don't have to worry about his aura at all. Um, this person's running suicide as well. Uh, so again, the, the damage here is just silly with void. We get a, a weakness debuff up right away. So you know, 10 seconds in, and we already have four debuffs on him, and the degen is just incredible. I mean, you can see that it was what like 2,500 damage. Yeah. From the boosts and we're not even going to make it to like 25 hits here so it's this is just it's amazing i love void <laughs> oh man void plus suicides is a, is a good time except when you're the one running suicides then it's not a good time so uh i'm just trying to bait out this last special one i think he dies before he gets it off and pop there he goes all righty so uh the right side was cleared on Boss Island, and I got first shot at this Man Thing boss. Uh, we're going to use Human Torch, and we're going to activate the pre-fight ability to get the Nova Flames working. And uh, so this is not the best matchup. Um, so obviously, Human Torch is fantastic against any Mystic Champ. However, uh, Man Thing's primary source of damage is uh, the poisons that he gives you when he busts the. Uh, whatever the pustule debuffs whatever he puts on you um, and I'm I, I haven't fought man thing enough to fully understand how the the pustules work um, if I can prevent them breaking by you know, not hitting into him or not hitting into his block not again I you know I was just basically trying to brute force my way through this this person also seems to be running um, a good amount of mystic dispersion as you'll see you'll see when when the pustules pop on me and then I lose my dex buffs, uh, he gains a decent chunk of power. Um, so I'm not trying to punish his SP1 because I'm really not good with the timing. Um, so I'm comfortable just taking blocked hits and baiting out a heavy. Uh, and that, that also benefits me by raising the uh, amount of smolders that I get. Um, so I think I definitely could have played this fight better. Um, specifically by letting him hit into my block a bit more um, because I think the key to this fight is getting up as many smolders as possible uh, and letting those Nova Flames just you know nuke him down as quickly as possible um, so yes yeah, spoiler alert I, I, I do end up dying at the end of this fight um, it's just the poison becomes too much and like I said I'm not you know I'm not very familiar with how the mechanics work um, I was really just hoping to get in and 
and do enough damage to kill him before he would he was going to kill me. So a good learning experience for sure. Uh, taking those hits there uh, really sealed my my fate. I may have been able to pull out the victory if I hadn't have taken taken that combo there. So um, the other bonus is that when Man Thing is below 50%, he regenerates. Um, so I am um, well, I was supposed to be re uh, reversing that regeneration. I don't think I had enough Nova Flames up to do that, but yeah. So there we go, and the poison finally does me in. Very close. You know, now that I'm watching this again, uh, I probably would have won had I not gotten hit. So Man Thing, hey, come, Man Thing, come back. Man Thing, I just want to talk to you, man. Can can you can you explain to me, Man Thing? Man Thing, please, can we just talk for a second, dude? Just tell me how, how tell me how you, uh, is he, is he gone? Okay, okay, I think he's gone, for real. Okay, he's not coming back. <laughs> okay. Um, it's a little fun with the connection issues there. All right, so uh, nobody was responding right away to go in and finish off Man-Thing, so I decided just to take it, take a, and finish him off with Void. Um, I was pretty confident that I would be able to survive uh, the poisons here. Uh, and, you know, Void is pretty good for most boss nodes just because the degen is direct damage and ignores all of the resistances uh, that the adaptive node on the boss uh, gives him. So i uh, just going to continue baiting out the special two because it's a lot easier. Uh, once I get the Petrifies up, which I have one up already, I will be uh, stopping and reversing his regen. Um, in hindsight, Void may have been just as good of a first option for this fight um, as Human Torch was. Um, I could have at least delayed the fight a bit longer since I would have been damaging him, uh, you know, even while not hitting into him. It would have required less hits and I would have um, had less chances to maybe trigger the poison on myself. But... Alright, so that was it for me. Um, you know... Another, another loss, which is becoming um, a sad habit these days in our alliance. Really disappointing um, how we keep losing these wars. So uh, Drops our record to 2-4. and four, Took one death against the boss, which I'm not concerned about in the least. Uh, light on the item usage. Uh, still kind of recovering from, uh, what was it, last tour or the war before, where I had uh, what, 10, 10 or 11 items used, potions used. So still kind of recovering my stash uh, from that, so... I think we have another war coming up tomorrow. Hopefully that one uh, turns out a bit better. Um, we are nearing the bottom of Platinum 4. Um, so ideally we would be facing some lesser competition that we can hopefully take advantage of. But at this point, who knows? We seem to find new and amazing ways to lose every week. So, All right, uh, if you like this, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you want to see more. And uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.